How you doing? I used to be Jimmy Falcone, a big shot in the New York crime family. Now I'm in witness protection in Canada. But I'll never forget that day. I was forced to leave the only home I've ever known. Cookie, kids, get your butts in gear. Let's get this vacation started. Canada awaits. Daddy, just because we're going overseas doesn't make this a vacation. I ain't denying it. I was in denial. I couldn't face the fact that I was leaving everyone I ever loved and taking my wife and kids with me. Isn't this fun? A family road trip. Who's up for another round of window uppy downy? Up, down, up, down. Whoa. Up, up, he down. always knows what it's gonna do. All right, you'll be under RCMP protection from here on. Off you go. It's cool. <laughs> Welcome to Canada. Bienvenue. Come along, I have blankets and whiskey for all of you. This will warm your cockles. If it's gonna warm my cockles, I'll need a bigger blanket. I'm Special Agent Straight McCool. My mission is to help you assimilate, keep a low profile, and ensure you don't violate our nation's laws. I'm sorry. Violate what? <laughs> what a spirited group. I loved this assignment the minute I was given it. Let the protection begin. Hop in. You gotta be shitting me. And then they took us to this crazy place called Vagina... Regina. Saskatchewan. But if any of you are thinking about a vacation up here, forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the couple with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all went him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds would say they helped if they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. City, home of the Jews, the body of mobster Paul Vincenzo was pulled from the Hudson River. Foul play is suspected. Hey, look! Pauly the target got whacked. I can't believe it. He was always so careful. I wonder who did it. I'm guessing Vinny April did it. The Hudson's always been his go-to. Nah, look at the bruises on his face. Must have been Benny the Bruiser. My money's on Timmy, sissy bum. That guy'll f you up. Two ones! Holy craps! Snake Eyes! It was my cousin Sammy! That's the worst nickname ever! No, it's my cousin, comma, Sammy. Comma, Sammy? That's even worse. Your nephew, Nimrod! Snake Eyes Sammy! The guy's in trouble! If we can figure out he did it, so can Paulie's crew! Which means he's about to get whacked! I gotta save him! Ah, he's always about to get whacked. He's a good boy. You know, I still can't believe you stole Cookie from him. Whoa! I didn't steal no one. He was sent to Juvie, and Cookie needed his shoulder to cry on. All I did was show up with a hanky and a salami. You were so sweet, you big lug. You repoed my heart. And you stole mine. And then I stole you that necklace. So I hereby announce my candidacy for student council president. What's your platform? My platform? Thanks for asking, concerned student. If you elect me, I will ban all corporate sponsorship from school grounds. Let's send the message that young minds are not for sale. Who's with me? That was painful to watch. What I have to say is important. I, I just can't get anyone to listen. Oh, little brother, you're so lame. The key to drawing a crowd isn't what you say, it's what you show. Thanks for coming to my brother's president thingy. We love you! And I have loved a ton of you. So I want you all to vote for my brother on the day you're supposed to vote, whenever that is. The issues. Tell them the issues. First off, more corporate sponsorship. <laughs> it's no more corporate sponsorship. Oh, it's just one word. It doesn't matter. More bullying. <laughs> It's no more bullying. You have to add the word no. Okay. No more funding for music and the arts. I got your message, Jimmy. How can I be of assistance? I got a problem. 
My cousin Snake Eye Sammy whacked Pooley the target. That's a serious accusation. I meant it as a compliment, but trust me, it was Sammy. He left his dice that always come up ones. All us wise guys have calling cards. My dad left an Italian sausage, Cheech left a cocktail onion. My calling card was a calling card. I figured I'd give the grieving family some minutes. I get that. Horse also likes to leave a calling card. Hey, same as Johnny Brand Flakes. You gotta get Sammy out of there. When police guys track him down, they'll torture him to rat me out. How could Sammy know where you are? I texted him. Mom, you have to talk Teresa out of running. She's just gonna embarrass herself. Petey, I think it's great that your sisters finally realize there's more to life than binging, purging, and shopping. Are you sure you're not a little threatened by your chances? Are you kidding? I'm totally threatened by your chances. That's why you gotta get her out of this. Petey, I'm not going to choose one of my children over the other. I love you all equally. You'll just have to make the best of it. Don't say I never do you any favors. I never say you don't do me any favors. Your whole job is doing me favors. I know, I just wanted a good entrance line. Hey, cuz, guess who? Sammy! Jimmy. <laughs> hey, everyone, Sammy's here. I'll leave you two to your embrace. But remember, Jimmy, you vouched for him, so you're responsible for him. Hey, how you hey, doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. How's it going? How is the trip, cuz? A breeze. Canadian cops are so freaking friendly. Which reminds me, I got presents for all of yous. Cheech, you son of a gun. Petey, you's getting so big. Teresa, holy moly, you must be the little squirt. And Cookie, I'm sorry I dropped your present in the squad car, but may I say, you look like a million. You're so full of it. Keep it coming. <laughs> Wait a sec. Is that pasta for Joel that I'm smelling? Your favorite. Welcome to Regina. Stun gun? Just what I always wanted. I'm a huge fan of your work, Cousin Snake Eyes. I can't wait to learn from the master. Ah! I'm all yours, kiddo, as soon as I'm done catching up with the real master. I am humbled to be in your presence. Really? I thought the folks back home would be mad about how I ratted everybody out. Ah, forget the ratting. Concentrate on the killing. You whacked Don Gambini, for Christ's sakes. You're a legend. A legend? Really? You kidding me? Your nickname back home is the guy who whacked Don Gambini. Now that's a nickname. So much better than that Cousin Karma guy. The guy who whacked Don Gambini. It's got a nice ring to it. Wait, you saying I can go back home and they won't whack me? Oh, they'll still whack you, but with respect. Oh, that's so nice of them. But Sammy, I ain't like I used to be. I keep a low profile, stay out of trouble, and now you got it too. Sit down. Let me explain how life here works. <laughs> Gina, if you're gonna have a stun gun, you gotta use it responsible. Give me that thing. First off, you gotta... Jesus! What's wrong with this? They used to have a safe... Take it! Just take it! Cookie, I'm sorry I dropped your present in the squad car. I feel terrible. But you look great. I had to give you something. So, here. Oh, that's beautiful! Wait a minute. Isn't this the same necklace you gave Teresa? No. Mom, I can't find my new necklace. Maybe. <laughs> Sammy, you haven't changed one bit. Neither have you, Cookie. You haven't aged a day since high school. Yeah, those were good times. Remember the time we made out in the confession booth and confessed in real time? How could I forget? It was like, oh, God, Hail Mary. Oh, God, Hail Mary. <laughs> <laughs> And remember that time at junior prom when we kissed on the dance floor and the principal separated us, so you gave him a wedgie? It was my very first kiss. And my very first wedgie. Mm. 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 Sammy, get out here! What are you drinking? So, that just happened. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Will you quit talking about my womb? Jesus Christ, you talk! It's not that big a deal. You got a light? I... I can't believe it. Yeah, I know it's bad for me. I'm trying to cut down. I tried the patch. That works for sh**. All right, let's get down to business. Your ex kissed you, and now you're feeling ashamed and conflicted. You know exactly what's going on in my heart. You're truly miraculous. 
You do know I'm a figment of your imagination, right? You're too modest. Whatever. These feelings you have are completely normal. You fell for Jimmy because he was a bad boy, but he ain't no more. Enter Sammy. And these feelings won't go away unless you do something about them. You think I should tell Jimmy? Hell no! Do you know how Joseph was when I had someone else's kid? Moping and whining all the time? He wouldn't let it go. Always asking, who was bigger, Mary? Who was bigger? Who needs that, Zorus? So what are you telling me? Get it out of your system. Have some fun with a guy. <gasps> you mean commit adultery? I could never do that. Technically, you already have. No, I haven't. When Jimmy gives it to you, you think about Brad Pitt, Tom Cruise, Carrot Top. I don't know what that's about. The point is, it's a slippery slope. No, there's a big difference between thinking about someone and doing him. I cannot believe the Virgin Mary is telling me to have sex with another man. You're gonna burn in hell anyway, so what are you waiting for? These commandments aren't gonna break themselves. I figured I'd give you a tour. Get you used to your new home. Oh, after that meal, a walk's just what I need. Ain't nothing like that woman's cooking, huh? She's a real keeper. Yeah, cookie's the best. So, you guys happy? Yeah, sure. For real happy? Or I'm just saying that because I'm a married guy and I'm dead inside happy? Closer to the first one. On a scale of one to ten. Sammy, what are you getting at? Whoa, this is the little Italy in this town. Ain't it great? Sometimes we just come here and hang out for hours. How's the food? You kidding me? The place is run by a Chinaman. It won't happen overnight, but you'll adjust. See, look at them. That used to be us. You're misremembering. We used to sneak up behind wimps like that and take their money. Then we'd force them to tell us where they lived and hold up their parents. Sammy, cut it out. Listen, going straight ain't bad. Especially in a city where there's like zero crime. Exactly. It's a freaking gold mine. We're gonna clean up here. No, look, I pulled a lot of strings to get you into witness protection. Well. One, I only got one string, but I pulled it. So we can't live the old life. Now come on, let's go to Little Italy and get an egg roll. This is where I work. It's a good job, a great job. I love this job, proud of this job. You believe me? Jimmy, this is my bad. I was probably unclear when I explained it. Our policy is that staples must be lined up vertically, not horizontally. That's it. Do you have any idea who this man is? So, anyway, Toby, I was wondering if you could give my cousin a job. You'll just wind up making a fool of yourself. It's not like this is something you even care about. You're the one who'll make a fool of herself. You don't even have a platform. Hello? No, a platform is issues. A president should know this. You don't have any issues. Well, actually, you have lots of issues, but nothing to run on. Politics is a bitch. Bitch. Issues I'm, like, running on. If you elect me your school president, you will get to look at me all the time. And girls, if you don't vote for me, I will so screw you over. Thank you for seeing me, Jimmy. I didn't know I had a choice. Well, you didn't. I was being polite. Although I guess it was rude of me to say that, and for that, I'm sorry. Uh, me too? What's up? The crime rate, Jimmy. And I have no doubt that it's mostly due to your cousin Sammy. You can't prove nothing. Not yet, but it's just a matter of time. If Sammy goes to jail and talks, we'll have to move you to Quebec, and you have enough trouble with English. Do you really want to live somewhere where they speak French? I'm torn. I love their fries, toast, and kissing, but berets make my face look fat. I'm not kidding around, Jimmy. Get him in line, or else. For Canada, with a per capita murder rate only slightly worse than Denmark. I just spoke to McCool. You gotta help me with Sammy. What's wrong? The guy's robbing anything he could get his hands on, and he's gonna ruin everything for us. You're being too hard on him, Jimmy. <laughs> Let me see that. It's so much fun, Ma. Best toy I ever got. So this is what a stun gun looks like. Oh, my stun gun! My stun gun! 
So where was I? Oh, yeah, Sammy. You're being too hard on him. He's a bad boy, like you used to be. I think you're jealous. Why would I be jealous? Did I say you're jealous? I meant Sammy naked. I mean, how can I help? I can't watch him all the time. So when I'm at work and the kids are at school, you gotta keep an eye on his every move. You gotta be on him like white on rice. If he tries to get you off, you dig in and hold on tight. Where he goes, you go. When he comes... Stop it! What? I don't know. Look, Jimmy, as long as we're on the subject of Sammy, there's something I should maybe tell you. Oh, maybe I shouldn't. I don't know. I wish I could have some kind of sign telling me what to do. Guess who just robbed the bank? You idiot! <laughs> now that's what I call a sign. Do you know how much trouble you could get us into? Jimmy, let him go. Let's at least hear his side of the story. Fine. Thank you, Cookie. Okay, I staked out the bank, I hit the bank, I made off with the loot. But I mean... Let me at him! Jimmy, stop! He's a reasonable man. Just talk to him. It took us a while to adjust to the rules when we got here. He's your cousin for crying out loud. Blood. Hey, everyone. I'd like you to meet my new doll. Kill him. And in second place, with 12 votes, Jason Hitler. <laughs> nine, nine, nine. Don't worry, mind Jason. There are better ways to seize power. And your new president, with 33 votes, Peter McDougal. What? How could I not have won? Teresa, you never registered yourself as a candidate. But Petey said he'd do that for me. You didn't do that for me? Politics is a bitch, bitch. Whoa! What was that for? Jimmy saves your life, you do nothing but ignore everything he tells you, then you make a pass at his wife, and then you show up with some bimbo! In my defense, I made a pass at his wife and was turned down. That's why I got a bimbo. And what the hell did you kiss me for anyway? It really bothered me. Honestly, Cookie, I've been a wreck about it too. I got caught up in the moment. It was nostalgia. Old times. You look good. And you smelled nice. Knock it off! We may have to move because of what you've done. And as crappy as this town is, this is Canada. Things can always get worse. What are you thinking? I don't know, Cookie. I'm not thinking anything. I don't plan things. They just happen. I'm not smart like you and Jimmy and Cheech. Run and cheese. Who? Where did all that come from? Sammy robbed the first vagina credit union. He's always been a good boy. No, it's terrible. McCool's already on to him. Sammy's gonna get arrested and we'll all have to move to Quebec City, France. I never liked that, Sammy. We gotta get them their money back, but without anyone knowing it was us who returned it. We gotta somehow break into the bank and make them take it back. The old reverse heist. Nobody freeze! Put your hands down and get up off the floor! Don't do what I say or you'll all get hurt! Exactly. Instead of outlaws, we'll be in-laws. Hey, Jimmy, I've been thinking. I'm real sorry about all the trouble I caused. I'll do anything to make it right. You just name it. You're going to help Cheech and I return the money. Did I hear you right? You're going to take perfectly good stolen money and return it to a bank? Those crooks! i never been so ashamed of this family. Gina. You broke my heart, Father. It's go time, boys. Put on your masks. Too bad the mask store was out of friends masks. I had my heart set on being Rachel. Rock and roll. Everyone freeze! This ain't a robbery! Underground, you mugs. Now! Nobody be a hero! Now, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna open a safe, and you're gonna put this money inside it. Have you filled out a deposit slip? It ain't a deposit! Well, if you'd like to make an investment, you'll have to speak with Mr. Fielding. But he's on vacation till Thursday. I just want to give you this money! I can't process anything without an account number. Maybe this'll change your mind. <coughs> well? I can't process anything without an account number. This must be why the reverse heist never caught on. Just take it, will ya? We got made, dirty screws. What are you doing? 
I don't know. But we gave the money back! You die on me, Sammy. Not now. Not here. Not like this. Looks like the bastards got me. Those bastards! It was just a matter of time. I lived a reckless life. I took too many chances. Plenty of unprotected sex. Shh. Don't talk. And Jimmy, I gotta get this off my chest. When we was eight years old, I swept 20 bucks from my dad and blamed it on you. I know. It's okay. And when we was 14, and you got caught with all that weed, I was the one who hid it in your locker. Shh, 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 shh. save your strength. And when we was 16, and your sister got knocked up, that was me. You really gotta stop now. All this was a long time ago. <laughs> and yesterday, I made a pass at your wife. Earlier today, too. You should probably die now. Okay. How you doing? I'm Jimmy Falcone, currently known as Jimmy McDougal. Back in the old days, when I was a big shot, the most important person in my life was my lawyer. When you make an honest living breaking the law, never misunderestimate the value of a good shyster. Suppose I allegedly tried to whack a guy and he went to the cops. Would I be in trouble? Hmm. The guy was available night and day. I know it's 4 a.m. and you're in the Hamptons, but you gotta come to the city and bail me out. <sighs> I need you to get rid of this for me. <clears throat> Nothing seemed to phase this guy. Then out of the blue, he robs a liquor store and gets sent to jail. And this guy went to Harvard. Why would he do that? Thank God! Just put me in a deep, dark hole and get me away from Jimmy Falcone! <laughs> Anyway, now that I'm in witness protection, I don't need no lawyer, because I got my own personal Mountie. Hey, McCool, can you get me one of them new smarty pants phones? We've been through this, Jimmy. I can't cater to your every little whim. The answer is no, so just... I can't believe I'm going to say this. Forget about it. Oh! Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all wants him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds would say they helped if they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. So, they took your appendix, huh, McCool? I'll give you one of mine, but it's probably messed up from hard living. But, Uncle Cheech, the human appendix is a vestigial organ. I've been kicked in the vestigials. I feel your pain, McCool. I hope you like the flowers. It was the most expensive ones they had. Nothing's too good for our Mountie. We got the banner just in case. Listen, Doc, this guy's a friend of the family. Send his bill to us. What bill? I like you. You learn fast. Cookie, is Jimmy coming? His smiling face and ceaseless cigar smoke always brighten my day. Don't worry, I'm sure he's on his way. I sent that bonehead plenty of reminders. <laughs> ah, crap, I slept past five. What's with him? He's looking right at me. He's still there. What if he's a hitman? This is bad! Son of a... 
Toby, what are you doing sneaking up on a guy like that? Oh, sorry, Jimmy. I just came to remind you, if you're gonna stay late, don't forget to put in for overtime. Thanks, Toby. My pleasure. All right, you bastard. You want me? Come get me. Gotcha! Toby! Jeez, sorry! I thought you were someone else! Maybe uh, I should start wearing a bell? I wish you'd have thought of that earlier. It's that guy again. What guy? All I can see are fuzzy shapes. You've reached Special Agent Straight McCool. Just leave a message, Jimmy. You're the only one who ever calls. McCool, I've been made. There's a guy tailing me. Meet me at home. And grab me a slice on your way. I'm starving. Ow! What the hell, Ma? You know that bear Gina has in her room with a dollar sign on it? Sure, sure. Money bear. Okay. I was in a room getting rid of anything that might be construed as evidence, and I think I might have threw a money bear. What? You know how Gina gets when you touch her stuff. Remember when you tried to get her off the pacifier? She was like a badger, clawing and scratching, and that sound she made. <laughs> I wore an eye patch for a year. Exactly, so I don't want to know about this. I can't believe my own daughter's gonna abandon me in a time when I'm in danger from my other daughter. What? Nothing. Nothing. Me. I need a gun. Thanks, kid. Where'd you get this? You want a gun or you want to ask stupid questions? Where the hell were you? Paul McCool's lying in the hospital and you can't... Wait a second. McCool's in the hospital? Why didn't you tell me? That means we're on our own. What are you talking about? I don't get time to explain. I think we've been made. <laughs> Whoa! Easy, Tiger. Boy, Jimmy, I've been trying to introduce myself all night, but you kept giving me the slip. Who the hell are you? And who sent you? I came as soon as I got your message. Jimmy, this is FBI agent Rick Chick Magnet. Is pepperoni okay? All they had was pepperoni. It's kind of cold. What do you feds want from me now? The Bureau wants to interview you for an ongoing investigation, Jimmy. Nice to meet you. I'm Special Agent McCool. Let me guess. First name not so? Nice uniform not so. <laughs> So what do you say, Jimmy? Deal or not a deal? No way. I had enough of being a no-good snitch for one lifetime. In the eyes of the U.S. government, you're no snitch. You, sir, are a hero. You sure you got the right Jimmy? Oh, and by the way, I brought eight pounds of gabagool from Polly's Deli in New York. Yay! <gasps> Jimmy, what's a gabagool? It's lunch meat. Now put on some pants, will you? Come on in, Chick Magnet. I guess I'll be heading back to the old hospital. <laughs> For Canada! And... Ow! My stitches popped. Well, Jimmy, you've been a huge help. The tip about Don Barzini alone is enough to blow the case wide open. When you take him down, tell him I said yo. <laughs> I sure will. Uh, now listen, between you and me, how do you like it up here in the great mild north? Don't ask. What if I told you that as a reward for your cooperation, the Bureau is willing to relocate your family? What? <laughs> That's right, Jimmy. To sunny California. Really? What did you say? California? Are you serious? The details are right in here. I'll take you and Cheech down to the North Dakota field office for processing, and the family can meet us in California. You hear that? We're gonna be Americans again! But wait, I was just getting to like it here. The schools are better, the medical care is top-notch, and I just finished building my first igloo in the backyard. Pipe down, Petey. You can build plenty of googie goos in California. Hang on. Petey might have a point. Is it right to keep moving the kids around like homeless gypsies? Let's get the Chick Magnet's giving you a six-bedroom house, a full cable package, and a job as a nude beach lifeguard? Are you sure you don't want to stay in Canada, Jimmy? 
I'm positive. California's got sunshine, no snow, and unfettered access to burritos. My hands are tied here. Well then, I suppose this is... goodbye? Really? I never hugged a cop before. Unless I was stabbing him. In a way, you have stabbed me, Jimmy. Right through the heart. Jeez, all right. <gasps> You're crying now? No, no, my incision became severely infected when I left the hospital to meet you last night. That's what you get for ignoring doctor's orders. Anyway, I'll send you a postcard. It'll have my new name on it. Jimmy Gonzalez. <gasps> Doing? I got a replacement for Money Bear. You think that piece of crap's gonna fool Gina? Where's the dollar sign on the front? I'll sew it on, but first we gotta age it to look like Money Bear. What's he look like? I need details. I don't know, ask Petey. I can, he'll say, Mother, honesty is the best policy and get us all killed. Wait, it had an eye missing. Good, good, so we'll pry off one of the son of a bitch's eyes. Which one? <laughs> think! I had it, but you slapped it out of me. Well, Igloo, in saying goodbye to you, I'm also saying farewell to Canada. Yeah, we're leaving right now. Uh, don't sweat it. They don't suspect a thing. <gasps> I'm not telling you where they are. You'll send guys to whack them, and I don't get my million-dollar bounty. See you in Fargo. You bring the money, I'll bring the Falcones. God, I hate Canada. Snow in my pants. All right, boys, let's head off to your new life. So long, Cook. Next time you see me, we'll be in sunny California. And I'll be selling oranges at the off-ramp in a leopard print thong. You take good care of my Jimmy, okay? Of course I will. <laughs> it's not like I'm gonna get him across the border, put a bullet in his head, and sell him to the mob or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Call McCool. Searching for my stool. Would you like me to book a colonoscopy? <laughs> Agent McCool's special here. McCool! Rick Chick Magnet is gonna kill my dad! Slow down, I'm on morphine, so I'm having trouble following. Who's this again? It's Petey. Rick Chick Magnet is taking Dad and Cheech to the mob. Chick Rick Magnet? What are you calling me for? You think you're so cool. You want cool? Try morphine. This sh is awesome. This isn't Chick Magnet. It's Petey. Petey? Hey, kid, I tell you, if I tried this morphine junk when I was your age, I never would have become a cop. I'd have become a jazz dancer. Snap out of it! My dad's in trouble! Did I ever tell you how Mummy supported us when Daddy left? The men she brought home. We called them my uncles. No, uncle, I won't fix you a drink. Get your own damn highball, you filthy pervert! <laughs> what am I gonna do? Dad's gonna die! Help! I'm bored. Are we there yet? Hey, let's play I Spy. What are you, six? Take it easy, Chick Magnet. Just kidding. <laughs> All right, I'll go first. I spy with my little eye something that's gonna get slaughtered. What? See? A truck full of lambs. <laughs> oh, right. Good one. I'll try again. I spy with my little eye dead meat. Who, me? No, no. There's some roadkill over there. <laughs> One more. I spy, with my little eye, two wise guys who are gonna get whacked. All right, you're freaking me out. What? Relax. It's just Martin Scorsese's new movie. We are so seeing that. Hey, Cheech? Cheech. Aw, he fell asleep. <laughs> Mummy, you don't have to turn on the red light. <gasps> wow, what a trip. Won't be doing that again. Oh, look, Petey called. Thundering Thunder Bay, Jimmy. <whistles> 
up like the wind horse, Jimmy's in trouble. For Canada, where friendship trumps infection every time. Okay, now we run him through the dryer a bunch of times to make him look old. I can't do this. I can lie to you and Pop, but Gina, she's got those eyes. They burn right through ya. Don't you fall apart on me now. If this doesn't look exactly like Money Bear, you and me are going to California in a pine box. What the hell are they talking about Money Bear for? He's right down here. What are they so freaked out about? I'm out. You're out when I say you're out. <laughs> I could have a lot of fun with this. Look at that. Three more Kims and we'll be in the good old U.S. of A. First thing I'm going to do is get me some poutine and a bottle of maple syrup. Hey, get a load of McCool. Jesus Christ, are you kidding me? Let us go. It's for the best. For us, at least. I can't hear you. I'll Skype you from Cali. Yo, Chick Magnet, relax. He's just trying to say goodbye again. Pull over. Screw that. You're under my jurisdiction now. Technically, not for two more Kims. Oh! Oh! oh. We're alive, Jimmy. You know what this means? Seatbelts actually work. McCool, you crazy bastard. What are you doing? Oh, run. Run. What's he saying? Rum? Rum. Poor bastard needs a drink. I know the feeling. Quit fooling around! This guy needs help! Oh, God, could you possibly be more dense? I'm trying to kill you, you stupid moron! But what about Calif... Oh! You trying to kill us? You're a fed. I'd explain, but I hate it when bad guys stand around telling their plan when they could just kill the hero. I'm a lot of things, but a hero ain't one of them. Ah, my eyes! Ah! Do you ever wash your feet? <clears throat> hey, Jimmy, if I drop my pants, do I get a piggyback too? Between you and me. My nuts are like ice cubes. I know, I know. I'm cold, too. Oh, I mean all the time. We need to find shelter. Hey, maybe there's a Howard Johnson's out here. How about that old barn? I bet that joint don't even have cable. Damn it! It still looks good as new. And he smells spring fresh! I'll warm up the car. We'll run over his head a couple times. Whose head is Ma gonna run over? <gasps> oh, hi, Gina. How are you, little sis? What's behind your back? What? Oh, nothing. All right, now you got me curious. And when I get curious, I like answers. You know how I like to get answers, Teresa? <gasps> how? The hard way. <laughs> Poor guy's turning blue. We gotta find something to start a fire. Don't waste your time. He knew this was a one-way ride. Come on, Cheech. The guy risked his life to save my ass after I treated him like a jerk. Which makes him a huge pushover, but still. Way I see it, if he dies, we can survive on him for weeks. He's built like Conan. The barbarian, not the weird redhead on TV. Cheech, I'm hungry too, but we're not eating McCool. Get a fire going. You work nights as an arsonist. Should be a cinch. Look for anything that'll burn. Forget it, Jimmy. We're all gonna freeze in here. Wait, I know. This ought to burn for a while. <clears throat> Changed your mind? Ah, the tag was chafing me. You threw out Money Bear. You got any idea why I call him Money Bear? Because I keep money in him, that's why. I had three grand in there. Hey, where's Mom? Dad's in trouble. <laughs> now, let's have a little talk about how I'm going to get my money back. 
one you want. It's Ma. She dragged me into this. Oh, sure, I get it. You was just an innocent bystander. Oh, God, I'm so sorry, Gina. I'll get your money, I promise. Whatever it takes, just don't hurt me. All right, seeing as your family, I'll cap the vig at 3%. And let this be a lesson to you. Don't keep no secrets from me. <laughs> Easiest three grand I ever made. Uh, this ain't what it looks like. Get up to your room. You're grounded. Ah, crap. That's it? She's grounded? You didn't say a word about throwing out a stupid bear. What, am I gonna incriminate myself? Oh, that's great. I owe her a bunch of money and you got off with nothing? Well, kid, I'm a mob wife. I got an instinct for dodging bullets. How much into it for, anyway? I don't know. How many dollars are in three percents? I can't take this no more. We gotta fight back. Our first mistake was not bringing guns. Wait a sec. McCool might have a gun. Ah, uh, I'm way ahead of you. What are you doing? Passing the time till help comes. Give me that. Find something to make clothes. We're going outside. Hey, we could have just burned this stuff. All right, Chick Magnet, get him up. Get him up? You sound like a no good cop. Let's see them hands. Yippee ki yay, Sheriff. Oh, you making fun of me? Nah, just kidding around, officer. Spit it out. You saying I gone soft? No, I'm saying I'd have shot the guy already. Oh, yeah? How's that? You missed. The old snowman decoy trick works every time, except in summer. You're a disgrace, Chick Magnet, turning your back on your badge for a few lousy bucks. More like a million bucks, Jimmy. What? Me and Cheech are worth a million bucks to the mob? Just for you. For Cheech, I get a coffee maker. Oh, I went up. I used to be worth a three-pack of tube socks. The only coffee you'll be brewing will be in prison, Chick Magnet. McCool! You're alive! Now who am I gonna have for lunch? Your humble shirt and pants fire was enough to temporarily spur my immune system, Jimmy. Now let's see how your immune system handles a hot lead injection, Donkey Dong. <laughs> ah! Horse! Good boy! Give him hell, horsey! Stop it, horse! You're only stomping lifeless pulp! Up on, boys! No sense riding on an empty stomach. Let's roast up the G-Man before we go. Enough with the cannibalism! What do you want from me? I got a craving. Petey told us what happened. Are you boys okay? Everyone's fine, despite being chased by a lunatic out for personal gain. Funny, same thing happened to me and Teresa. But why let one rogue federal agent ruin the big move to California? Uh, about that, Cookie, it appears that Chick Magnet engineered the whole thing. I know, what a bastard, but we're still going, right? Right? Sorry, Cook. Jesus Christ! This! <laughs> well, McCool, I guess you ain't getting rid of us that easy. I suppose not. I must thank you, Jimmy. You went above and beyond to keep me alive. I just burned a shirt off my back. It was nothing. No, Jimmy, it was proof. You like me. You really like me. Well, I should get back to hospital. The infection is starting to take hold again. <gasps> Let's cook them like a Christmas ham. How you doing? As a former gangster, I might not have lived a completely moral life, but I did some good things, too. Like the time I... Excuse me, Jimmy, you can't park here. No! Oh, get that thing out of my face. What's with you, anyway? I was getting used to seeing you without a billy club in your pants. Now the old attention hogs back? What gives? Allow me to explain. <laughs> Let me tell you something of myself without a doubt. The best cop around who likes to let it all hang out. When my bosses said I had to put on underwear, I tried to take it off, but they said, Oh, don't you dare. Wasn't very long before it wound up in the courts. The judge said, no man, you don't have to wear those shorts. So I won the case because there are no precedents for a servant of the crown to put on his underpants. Forget about it. Forget, forget about, about it. it. Forget about it. Hey, forget about underpants. 
Let me get this straight. You sued for the right not to wear a banana hammock? I need to be free, Jimmy. The justice system is broken. I think it's just fine. Heck, McCool, if you didn't want to wear any clothes at all, I'd have no problem with it. <laughs> you know what bugs me? That's not how the song goes. Forget about it. Forget about it! Oh, forget about it! Pop, why'd you drag me out here? I despise hunting. You gotta toughen up, kid. No more crying over dead mice. That you stomped on in the garage. Is that any reason to make me sit through a three-hour mouse funeral? Oh, that reminds me. You're free now, Mr. Whiskers. <sighs> what the hell was that? Sorry, fella, my kid dropped his gun. Well, be more careful, you wombat licker. Oh, I said sorry. What do you want, a note and some flowers? No, I want you wank stains to bugger off somewhere else. How about I wank stain all over your face? No, how about I bugger you? No, how about I will punch you? That's enough, gentlemen. No need to escalate beyond Australian insults and Scottish machismo. Be on your way, my Commonwealth compatriot. Jimmy, I need a word. Lucky your boyfriend stepped in. No, you're lucky my boyfriend stepped in. Oh, shit, Jimmy, just stop. Jimmy, what did I tell you to do before embarking on this trip? Go pee-pee before the long drive? No, the other thing. A cursory search of the Fish and Wildlife database tells me you did not obtain a hunting license. Hold it right there, McCool. What does cursory mean? As of now, this hunting excursion is officially over. Yay! Hear that, woodland creatures? The nightmare is ended! The forest is yours once again! I guess making a man out of Petey is off the frickin' table. Why didn't you go hunting, Cheech? Because staring down a rifle at one of God's majestic creatures ain't my idea of fun. I like to get in close with a blade. By the way, nice fur, miss. Cookie was gonna throw this out. Can you believe it? Maron, that is the most gorgeous broad I ever seen. And I once met Prince. I don't know if she's your type. What? You think I'm prejudiced or something? I'll bang any kind of broad. No, look! She can't see, <laughs> which might help ya. I've dated a blind. They're terrible drivers, and they never compliment your outfit. Only outfit I'm wearing for her are tube socks and a smile. <coughs> <coughs> I'm choking. <laughs> oh, poor boy. Did someone leave you all alone at the mall? Mm. I think someone wants a tummy rub. Let's scram before his little lipstick pops out. Oh. And there it is. Who the hell asked you to come up here and be my babysitter? All you had to do was go online, fill out an SK-106294 application, wait the seven-day processing period, go to your local Service Saskatchewan kiosk, pay the $30 fee, cash only, and pick up a hunting license. But did you? No! And nothing could be simpler. Uh, McCool? What are you doing? Felling trees here is against the law. Must you do something reckless every time I turn my back? No. Sometimes when you turn your back, I hang signs on it. Oh, very funny, Jimmy. Stop that! It's off, okay? <laughs> hey! They have a wild animal in there! That's not right! I got a license for it, you tit! A live animal removal permit. See, Jimmy? This is how you follow the rules. You must have some serious connections in government. Boy! What are you doing? Don't worry, gentle friend. You can run free now. I don't know what came over me. I was so terrified. I hope I didn't hurt any... Oh! What have I done? Oh, thank
Thank God. Oh! On the bright side, you're a man now, son. What's this about you ditching the girls to pick up some blind broad? I didn't pick her up. She adopted me. What the hell is that? It's my harness, Cook. I'm a C&I helper. You mean dog? If you want to put a label on it. I know being a dog is a hell of a step up for you, but you gotta tell this woman the truth. And break the bond of trust between us? I'll never get her in a sack. She's blind, but she's not gonna screw a dog. No, but maybe she'll make love to her. Now, excuse me, I gotta go get a flea collar. Those work on crabs, right? That was some good shooting, son. I'm gonna be sick again. I puked after my first mass murder, too. It gets easier. I'm so ashamed. Hunting is nothing more than recreational murder. Petey, God put animals on Earth for us to hunt, eat, and throw peanuts at when we go to the zoo. No, they're thinking, feeling, sentient creatures, just like you and me. Well, me. I agree with the boy. I think it's empty, sir. Why do people keep running away from me? Maybe because you hitch rides without asking. Or because you're eight feet tall and smell like a biker's armpit. I think that smell is all you. Oh, sorry. I don't know what your game is, you son of a bitch, but you stay away from my girl. Boy, you're a hungry fella. Mm. This is the best thing I ever crammed down my food hole. Oh, stop. Sorry about trying to shoot you. It's okay. People shoot at us all the time. We think of it as a game that you can die from. But I forgive you. This guy, he's so forgiven, like a big hairy Jesus. Unlike Jesus, this guy isn't imaginary. Why are you in the prairies? I don't know. One minute, I'm enjoying a nice mushroom snack in the forest. Next thing you know, I wake up in a farmer's field next to a very happy looking pig. And for some reason, my penis was really sore. Plus, those hunters have been chasing me since BC. You've been around since before Christ? Settle an argument. Jesus was real, wasn't he? And white? Yeah, and from British Columbia. Those hunters want to take me to a place where millionaires can hunt me for sport. I don't know what millionaires are, but they sound like dicks. I know how you feel. I was hunted once, too. Philly ran crying to the feds and wound up here. What's a fed? Jimmy? You're about to meet one. Jimmy, I feel terrible about my tirade, so sweet button Cummings! Hey, a Mountie! Sometimes they chase me in helicopters. Jimmy, a word? How do you manage it, Jimmy? How? Manage what? To consistently put your own well-being in danger. There is a bona fide mythical creature cramming lasagna into his food hole at your dining room table. So? He's not dangerous. He's a sweetheart. It's people like you who give Bigfeet a bad name. The term Bigfoot is uh, it's actually kind of racist. Yeah, uh, just saying. What's next? Is the Loch Ness Monster going to emerge from your toilet for a tea party? Will a flying saucer land in your backyard piloted by Jimmy Hoffa? Hoffa ain't on no flying saucer, I'll tell you that much. That creature is a veritable magnet for the world's press. If word gets out about him, every reporter on the planet will show up outside your door. Ooh, that ain't good. Exactly. So until I figure out what to do, keep that beast in the house. Is that clear? Crystal. GD, you're grounded! No! Oh, right, the Bigfoot. Oh, Canada! Where? A Sasquatch, Jimmy? Really? What's this about me being fucking grounded? Here's some ribeye, big fella. I'm going to take a bath. Hey, get on out of here. You're a bad, bad boy. Don't make me get a rolled up newspaper. <laughs> oh no! D did I get you with the door? Come here, baby. Don't worry, we'll take you to the vet and get you checked out. Mm -hmm. 
and maybe mm -hmm. neutered. Why can't I go outside? Father Sun's awake, Mother Moon's asleep, and Brother Sasquatch needs to drop a coil. It's dangerous out there. Besides, you've seen the great outdoors. Why not experience the great indoors? That's not a thing, silly. You made that up. What are you talking about? You got TV, the internet, video games. Is that all humans do? Sit around looking at screens? No, they also masturbate to those screens. And ordering food. Some folks live rich and fulfilling lives and never leave the house. Like who? Americans. Greatest people on Earth. And the heaviest. Here's the remote. I'll get you a bowl of chips. Salt and vinegar or ketchup? Damn it! One episode of Breaking Bad and he'd have never left that chair. thing. What are you doing? You're supposed to be at home. I can't sit around all day. The TV is boring, video games are confusing, and the internet keeps trying to sell me boner pills. And between you and me, I'm also kind of terrified of the vacuum cleaner. Look, back where you came from, what would the other Bigfoots do if you let humans know you exist? Oh, their vengeance would be swift and merciless. They'd take away my berries. We're gentle creatures at heart. Okay, I'm in a situation where if people found out about me, they'd let me keep my berries, but they'd probably remove my nuts and then feed them to me. That's confusing. I need you to blend. If people come looking for you, they might find me, and then I'm choking on a mouthful of my own nuts. I don't get it. Oh, you mean balls. Bingo. Let's go home. Okay, I'll try. <laughs> The same thing kept happening in Grand Theft Auto. It's hard on my knees, my hands are getting calloused. But the real problem is I'm carrying a lot of tension in my shoulders. Oh, and if you let on that I'm not a dog, I'll break your legs. I'm trying to nail this broad. Uh, uh. So can you give me something for my shoulders? How's my boy doing? He's just fine, ma'am. In fact, if it was me, I'd have sex with this animal. Oh, of course, that's just me. There's reports of a hairy man stalking the city and a 600% rise in dog disappearances. I'm doing my best, but the guy don't listen. Remind you of someone? Yeah, he's almost as bad as Cheech. <sighs> I checked the protocols for animal handling and couldn't find anything related to Cryptosimius giganteus. Leave your wang out of this. I'm talking about your furry friend. Leave my wang out of this. Focus, Jimmy! We are simply going to have to drive Sasquatch back to his home. Hopefully my animal trailer requisition goes through. I lied on the form. I circled other where it asks what type of animal. That's not really a lie. But it's not specific, Jimmy. That's tantamount to lying. <laughs> What the hell are you doing here? I was gonna apply for a job. What better way to blend in than by becoming a faceless office drone? I did up a resume and everything. Nice font, but that outfit ain't gonna fool anyone. Come on, I'll buy you lunch. But I brought mine. Look at her. She's so beautiful. Maybe we got a shot. Not as dog and owner, but as man and smoking hot chick. I gotta end this before it gets weird. Finished, boy. I'm sorry, pal, but McCool's sending you back to Columbus Britannica. Ah, uh, this isn't fair. I'm just starting to live like a real human person. No outside food. Here, try this. It makes life's disappointments a little easier to take. It also leads to Cookie getting pregnant. Wow! 
That waitress just got really attractive. Ah, I love you, Jimmy. You're my best friend. That's the beer talking. I think those two jerks at the bar ought to fight me. What'd you say about my mother? Oh, take it easy. What's that hairy guy pointing at, huh? Screw you, fella! Nobody understands me. Oh, screw it. Toby, get up! The city's going to shit, and you're just lying around? He went on a rampage from one beer? Lucky you didn't order a pitcher, you'd be dead right now. <laughs> it's not funny, Cook! I'm worried about the guy! What if he gets shot by the cops only to escape at the last second, save a little girl from a fire, and die, as everyone mourns his essential humanity? What the hell are you talking about? This is what happens with monsters! Don't you watch old movies? I gotta find him before he gets killed! Or grabs a blonde and climbs a building! Evening, ma'am. My name's Cheech McDoggy. I mean, McDougal. Have we met? I feel like I know your voice. You know my bark, you know my whimper, and now you're about to know my truth. Please don't ask if I found Jesus. I can't even find my shoes. I gotta level with you. I've been a real heel when I was healing at your command, but I can't live a lie no more. Plus, my knees are killing me, and the collar chafes. Tummy rubs are good, and the food, oh, forget about it. Anyway, long story short, I've been pretending to be your dog. <laughs> Boy, you kept this up way longer than I thought you would. Pardon me? Of course I know you're not a dog. I'm blind, not stupid. How many dogs have a zipper and pockets with keys in them? Slow down. I'm still figuring out zipper dogs. And you talk in your sleep, Cheech. But thank you. I haven't had this much fun in years. That's great. I'm a fun guy, as well as a dog. I was thinking, maybe you and me could... I guess this is a bad time to admit I've been stealing your panties. I'm calling the police! It's out of our hands, Jimmy. Animal control will take care of that drunk and disorderly hairball. That's what I'm afraid of. He's gonna wind up dead or in a lab. Or dead in a lab, with a pervy scientist prodding his butthole. You don't know what science does, do you? Help me find them. Then I'll drive him back to D.C. B.C. Fucking metric system. You know what I mean. Come on. If it was me, you'd do the same thing. Sure, you'd lecture me the whole time, but you'd still do it. Damn it, Jimmy, all right. But how can we find a creature who's eluded detection for hundreds of years? Pop! McCool! What is it, boy? The Australians nabbed Sasquatch outside our house. I ran out to help them, but they drove off. I tried to chase them on my bike, but I ran over a cat. Wait. Those Australians had a B642-180 animal removal permit. Of course! I have no idea what that means. It allows for air transport of live animals. My obsessive knowledge of protocol and procedure pays off once again. To the airport! What to do? Technically, they're not breaking the law. But aren't they breaking a moral law? Is it my responsibility as a servant of the crown to enforce moral laws? No, but as a human being, you have an ethical imperative. But are ethics not bound by a set of subjective values? There's nothing subjective about the rights of a sentient being. Back me up, Pop. Oh, no! Wait, mother! Once he's dead, we'll feed him to the yitty. Why wait till he's dead? For animal rights everywhere! Ah! How do I stop? How do I stop? Oh my god, please stop, please stop, please stop! Cheech! Them guys jumped me outside our house. I thought the blind chick sent him. The man they call Ravine. 
If Cheech is here, then where the devil is Sasquatch? Come on, lady, which one pretended to be your dog? Well, let me see. Oh, right, I can't, you dumb motherfucker. Yo, dog breath, you made bail. Wow, what an adventure. I got drunk, I got kidnapped, and I had sexual relations with a pig. That's an average weekend in Winnipeg. I also learned that humans are terrible and my people should kill and eat them. What? Nothing. Well, McCool, I learned my lesson. It warms my heart to hear you say that. I hope from now on you'll try to meet me halfway. Not that. I mean, I went before we left. This is a long drive. I should have gone before we left. Hey, yo! Why is the floor wet? It's nice he went back with a piece of our culture. The Sasquatch population is doomed. Oh, man! We forgot to get a picture! Oh, God! <laughs>